So let's see what's in the box. A quick start guide with some instructions and a mounting guide. A power adapter. Some extra plugs. Uh, adapter for soft tubing and then some wall plugs and the Versa itself let's take a look at what it looks like on the inside remove the four screws at the back you need to remove this pin this out this is what it looks like on the inside um, you have a very large stepper motor but yet very thin and compact okay let's compare this with a regular uh, dosing pump this is an, is an old pump I have and on the inside they have a small DC motor just look at the difference. Then on the front side, these are the tubes, and these are the rollers running on some bearings. For the regular dosing pump, the it is run by basically how it works is that there's this shaft here it goes in and by friction and by friction pushes on these uh, plastic rollers here okay and then it rolls the tubes and of, and of course these tubes are quite thin they typically last a couple of months of use and then they start to to leak um, these are supposed to be much longer life um, it, depending on how you use it probably lasts for many months or even years okay I'm going to put it back together put the cover back put the pin back to hold the PCA put the four screws back Putting the tubes back. And then the cover. And that's it. Ideally, the bracket is mounted directly onto the cabinet of wood, but because I don't have space, I'm just mounting it to a bracket here and slip it in. And this is my tubing, so this it goes. In. this is on the other right now it is set for 140 ml per minute it draws water from the sump goes through and then it feeds the calcium reactor here and it comes out over here so let's explore the Mobius app the home page, go to the settings page. Click on the icon with the three dots. And because I'm setting it up for calcium reactor, I would like to have a constant dose rate. Click rate, I would like to run it at 140 ml per minute and then save. Let's say if you choose alkalinity, it will have some preset uh, program available. And then when you click on the schedule, you just need to specify the dose that you need per day, and then it will uh, dose it at a specific time. Um, then let's say if you choose calcium, it will offset the time and uh, so that they 
it does not clash in case you have multiple sets. So water goes up from the reservoir to the Versa, down through the calc reactor, and then into the sump. I've configured the Versa to dose about half liter, 500 cc during the daytime, and about one and a half liters at night. So in this way, I'm able to push pH up, especially at night. And that covers about two liters of it. And then the balance of the evaporated water is handled by the regular ATO. In my particular case, I'm going to choose custom because I want to dose Kalkwasa. And then I will dose manual. Um, I go to plus. I click the timing. Let's say 12 a.m. to 11 a.m. I would like to dose one and a half liters. Uh, it will automatically calculate that being treated this time, the dose rate will be 2.27 ml per minute. So the strategy here is, in my case, is at night when lights are off between 12 midnight all the way to 11 a.m. when the lights are on, I would like to dose um, more cup water to boost up the pH. And then the rest of the day from 12 to from 12 from 11 a.m. to midnight, uh, I would like to dose 500 ml and then save. Let's go to the gear icon on the right hand side. This is where you calibrate the pump. The Versa comes with a 30 ml container for your calibration. One interesting thing is that you can actually calibrate to any other volume that you like. For example, if you are dosing for a 2 ml volume, then you, you can just calibrate for a 2 ml volume and that becomes very very precise you know unlike normal dosing pumps where um, let's say you calibrate for 30 ml and then when you dose 2 ml um, the reality is the volume that those normal dosing pumps uh, dose is pretty inaccurate because you are not calibrating for for that and these inaccuracies actually add up over time so if you're dosing things like trace elements you will, you, you will notice that over time, the bottles will be of a different volume, right? So with the versati versatility in this app here, you're able to calibrate for exactly what you want. I mean, uh, vice versa, for example, if you are dosing for a higher volume, say 60 ml, you are able to actually calibrate for precisely just that. So it makes uh, this pump very, very accurate. That's a very nice feature.